Um, my name is Dr Anna Whitelock and I am Senior Lecturer in Early Modern History at Royal Holloway. Um, I'm also Director of the Centre for Public History, Heritage and Engagement with the Past. Um, my research focuses on uh, 16th and 17th century uh, political history, uh, particularly in Britain but also um, in Europe. Um, I focus particularly on um, the court, uh, monarchy, issues of gender, politics and power. Um, I've just finished my second book which is called Elizabeth Bedfellows, An Intimate History of the Queen's Court and that investigates um, the body of Queen Elizabeth I uh, and her bedchamber and the politics of, it, of intimacy at court, um, her relationships with the women um, that looked after her um, and the various plots against her body, um, slander, uh, sexual rumours uh, that circulated around Europe about the goings on in the Queen's bedchamber uh, and various plots to try and assassinate the Queen herself. Um, I run a course in Tudor Queenship which um, I obviously can feed a lot of this new research into. Um, my first book was uh, a book called Mary Tudor, England's First Queen which was a reappraisal of the life and reign of um, Mary Tudor as the name of the book suggests. And again, this is fed directly into um, the course Tudor Queenship, which looks at the two Tudor queens regnant and reappraises really their whole reputations, um, looks at them uh, in the context of their time, tries to evaluate them as political leaders uh, and move beyond the layers of prejudice um, that are sort of built up uh, subsequently. Uh, everybody's familiar with Gloriana, Good Queen Bess, Elizabeth's on almost every other Hollywood film, it seems, Mary kind of gets rather short-changed in terms of public attention. Um, so we try and put the two queens alongside each other um, and evaluate them both uh, on a sort of level playing field. Um, so my research very much feeds into those courses and that course is something that I devised when I first came to Royal Holloway um, and proves very popular with students and it's a very fun course where students sort of always come to it with a sense that they know something about um, the Tudor period um, which is great but we also uh, hopefully try and challenge their preconceived ideas and, and the knowledge that they've already gained. Um, I also teach on a general Tudor monarchy survey course um, which again very much is informed by my research. The Tudor is always a very popular uh, historical topic for students so these courses are, are very popular. Um, and I also try and um, think really afresh about some of the ideas about power and monarchy. Um, obviously the monarchy um, is always in the news and it will continue to be so and questions about um, the future of the monarchy, how power is represented or the sort of passing of power over time away from the monarch. Um, images of the Queen, uh, scandal, issues of favourites, uh, reputations and so on. And these are the kind of questions that also feed into a course um, that I run at third year level on representations of monarchy. And there we look at all kinds of sources, visual sources, poetry, plays, uh, letters, coins, all kinds of things really to see how people engage with their monarch, how people saw the monarch uh, during the 16th and 17th century and how the nature of the response to um, the monarchy changed over time and obviously get running up until um, the Civil War. Um, and so these questions of course are, are very popular historically but also are very relevant today. So really the work that I do, um, and I do a lot of work also in the sort of public arena commentating on the monarchy and the royal family, um, is very much central to both my research and the teaching that I do. Um, the MA in Public History, which I also look after at Royal Holloway, is again draws on my interests in communicating history to a wider audience. Um, I'm very committed to history as an academic discipline. I love going into archives, looking at old documents. I mean, that is obviously the very stuff of history. But I'm also very passionate about talking to people who aren't necessarily within the kind of historical community, telling them about the kind of research that I'm doing. So I'm very involved. Uh, with uh, radio programmes and try to communicate ideas through the media as well. And um, the Public History MA is very much about students doing the same kind of thing, working with institutions and museums and 
heritage institutions and, and media companies to communicate history to a wider audience. Um, so really the sort of passion for history, both in the sort of traditional sense of the discipline, is very much at the root of what I do, but also a real commitment to uh, popularising history, both within and outside the academy.